the, how many of you have seen some kind of geek manifestos? I think I see one of them right there at the back. Right, that's by Git Tower, I think. Right, I think that's by uh, Git yeah, Tower. Tower. Yeah, it was by Git Tower. So we thought that, hey, you know, we could do something as a community. So it took about, uh, so sometime last year we reached around, uh, to a lot of people. So you can probably go to the geekpath.com. And we reached out to a lot of people and uh, we collated uh, something like what it means to be geeks. And it is a simple uh, single page. You can download it. Uh, you can download the manifesto as a PNG file, high resolution PNG file. You can print it and do whatever you want with it. Is it? Yeah, it's like totally high resolution. Totally. 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 You have several versions as well, and most importantly, it, they are all available on GitHub. Where is it? Yeah. Always wipe off. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, talking about, so this section, this time, so yeah, a huge thanks to all the people who have helped us do it. But uh, the contributor list doesn't end here. If you are printing the posters or creating or um, a variation of it, let us know, we will tweet it, and we will add your name to the contributors list. So go ahead and print it and have one at your office. Oh yeah, we exist in Twitter as well. Like, as always, not on Snapchat yet, but... Uh, but so go ahead and uh, tweet us. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. This was at Carousel. They printed a poster. Yeah. This was a screensaver. So Chian will talk about it later. So how do you think this is just a one-page uh, website, right? So how do you think the CSS was done? <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Diligently. So usually, you know, when I do CSS, I'll use a CSS preprocessor, and then I'll use like normalized CSS, and I'll have like partials in CSS. But this time. Chian and I, who coded the website, I think he did most of the posters on SVG that we'll talk about later, we decided to go really, really, really simple. And this is how our CSS looks like. Uh, so as you see, because um, we had like only like one page, we decided to go ahead and just style the tags itself. So it's really, really, really short and tiny. And it's responsive as well. So you see, it's really, really simple. Uh, how many of you use IDs in your CSS? This is where you see slight variations. How many of you use IDs in your CSS? Yeah? Well, I, I am, like, Chian used this, but I'm from the camp, like, IDs are for JavaScript, but I guess to each his own. There are no right or wrong, just use what it works. Uh, lots of media queries, download after, and there you go, there we have some classes, not too much. We use a lot of SVG, which Ian will talk about, and a super simple CSS, so there you go. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and download it and take some stickers. How many of you don't have the stickers? Or maybe we should just pass it around. Mm. Yeah, just pass it around. Yeah, just pass it around and take one. And download it and tweet us your photo. And uh, Chian will tell us more about the SVG side of things, or even how you can edit it. Okay. Uh, edit. <laughs> edit. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, wait, why is it so big? Uh, I don't know. What did you do with SVG for starters? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's zoom in. Yeah. Where is the SVG? Okay. SVG. Hmm. First SVG. <laughs> Things wrong here. Actually, should I just look at the the GitHub lah? Yeah, the GitHub. Oh, you made one CSS version and one SVG version. No, there's no CSS version. No, it's just SVG. So yeah. there's like multiple formats. Uh, so the SVG is kind of difficult. So I provide like a raw SVG thing. Anyone here edits your own SVG? Yeah. Yeah, like manually. Like, 
Oh boy. What's your name? You have to learn to learn to learn. That's hard for me. Not my cup of tea. So this is an ugly, ugly one. Oh man. Exported version of the from the editor itself, which is kind of kind of. Yeah, I optimize it. He will talk about it. Where's the optimized version? Chance speak louder. I think the optimized version is here. Yeah. It's a really big problem. Yes, this is the optimized version. How do I optimize it? Wow. Louder. Wait, what did I do? But I guess like what I did is always like go to uh, SVG, OMG. Yeah, Anyone so knows SVG OMG? Uh, so it's just a website that you can drag and drop the SVG file and then you will optimize the SVG. So if you see the differences, uh, it's always like stripping out a lot of uh, attributes and tags. Like, like let's say you don't really need the first line, or sometimes you don't even need the doc type. Sometimes you just, you know, all this like weird stuff like XML space, preserve. Sometimes you can just remove that, you know. <coughs> so it's a lot of like all these things. Um, I usually like uh, modify it myself. Sometimes I'll remove uh, this few rule non zero. I don't know what it does, but yeah. <laughs> it, somehow I remove it, it works okay, uh, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I always do. Uh. And then go, and then sometimes, uh, well, the good thing at SVG OMG is sometimes it will, they will like combine all paths into a single path. So that's like pretty nice uh, part about SVG OMG. Uh, there's like command line tools for S, uh, this SVG Go is based on this this guy, the SVG Go tool thing. So there's a command line tool for this. Uh, it does more crazy stuff that you can configure almost every single thing, removing IDs, removing all the shit stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then, but then um, I also provide this editable SVG. So. So the thing is like uh, for this poster, I convert the text into paths. So if I convert text into path, then you can't edit text anymore, right? So, <laughs> so I have to provide another SVG, which includes the text. So you see, like the text are actually inside. Like Bebo is inside. So it's kind of difficult. You know, I have to, I have to like make this SVG in a way that is like editable by other people. So I'm expecting like other designers to like. Uh, and uh, like import this SVG into the editor, make some changes, change some colors, change the fonts if you want to change the font. Yeah, I hope that this uh, file format or this format would be editable enough. So any one of you who are designers, uh, feel free to try and uh, make some changes. So there were a lot of like challenges for this uh, because uh, it's not easy to do this kind of stuff. Like. <laughs> Like this uh, formatting, like all these like different font sizes and uh, different line heights. Yeah, you can try it yourself. <laughs> it's, it takes a long, a lot of time. We will take it yeah, yeah. And, and even then, like you, you see that sometimes the line height is a bit wrong. Sometimes it feels wrong. Sometimes it feels right. You can like adjust any way you like. So that's pretty much like the. What is this? Why do you install Pinterest? Like all this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you can save the Pinterest. Okay. So if you see carefully this whole whoa, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, what is this? So it's an IMG that points to the SVG file. And then uh, down there there's one more. Actually this is kinda of broken. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So this is kind of like another IMG with a base 64. Whoa, okay, base 64. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like uh, I kind of like try to play around with this. Uh, so from the SVG file, I try to create a wallpaper of it that adapts to your current uh, screen size, uh, screen okay, dimensions. On mobile, it will be so on your mobile, it will looks like you know you will just grab the screen size from the mobile and then generate it. Uh, I can show the code. It's kind of like, hmm, how did I do it? Hmm. Is it everything here? 
Oh uh, yeah, it's everything here. So like, I have to like take care of like device pixel ratio because um, so I, I could actually like just generate the SVG and another SVG out of the SVG itself. It's actually easier because it's scalable already, but I kind of like have to generate like a, a raster image out of a vector image because you know so that you can save it to your phone. So it's like no choice, right? <laughs> you can't like set SVG as a wallpaper. Actually you should, right? Can anyway. just yeah, can screenshot. Yeah, can screenshot. You this is for like you know on for the lazy uh, like you know, you yeah. <laughs> you can't, right? It won't be scalable. You can look at the screensaver at the Twitter account. Go to a Twitter account. Uh, like you like right click safe as wallpaper. Yeah, it, it will be just like one. Safe. But if you go to the Twitter account, there mm. there are examples of like. Yeah, Twitter account. Oh, okay. yeah, the Twitter account. The second last tab. Twitter account. Yeah, like this one. You see, uh, it will generate according to the screen size. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's the innovation. the current screen size. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if on your phone, uh, whatever la. for fun, uh, it's actually just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got another suggestion. SVG is a open source software called Inkscape. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's an editor that can. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I I want it to be just generate it on the fly on the page itself. So rather than me like exporting the SVG file from my editor one by one in yeah. every dimension for every screen sizes in the whole world. So that's just too much work. So I just programmatically generate the wallpaper, okay, <laughs> itself. Yeah. So I use uh, yeah. <laughs> it's lazy uh, but lazy also have to code uh. Yeah. <laughs> so I use like canvas and stuff and all the usual canvas. This is a bit JavaScript though. So yeah. So okay. anyway. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of math there. Uh, a lot of weird math. Uh. Yeah, some spacing in between the wallpaper and stuff like that. You know, it, it's, it's just yeah, it's a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> and then what did I do? And then oh yeah, if I resize the the window, or whatever the screen width, yeah. So it's kind of cool. So it generates this. Uh, so it, you would just grab this image, put it into canvas, and then regenerate the 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 whole image with like with like the spacing around it. So if you see this. So, so this is like, like a poster size, right? But here, it's not poster size anymore. So this is like an actual image. That's also not centered. I think you need to refresh it oh. while, while doing the, uh, yeah. the projector stuff. It's a bit too... Yeah, yeah. Why refresh is it not centered? Yeah. Refresh, yeah. refresh, 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 regenerate, refresh. Oh, I refresh Just the page. <laughs> ah. Refresh the okay, page. Okay, Is it? <laughs> uh, hmm, why? Uh? Is it the projector <laughs> thing? Okay. It's, it's not... Hmm. It's kind of, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, why? <laughs> so this is... <laughs> yeah, feel free to raise uh, okay. bugs on GitHub, issues on GitHub, or... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are all developers, so give us pull requests. Yes, pull requests, pull requests. <laughs> yeah, took me You're some time though. It's, it's just a lot of math, uh, like, you know, like, first put the image in the canvas and then like position it to the you know, center 50% off whatever like yeah and then make sure that there's enough padding around here so that you know there's space for your menu your map menu bar or whatever yeah so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah and then there's a download thing and this is another cool thing I guess this is not really CSS like there's the download attribute it's pretty new. I think the the Safari in what ten point. It? Yeah, just release really it. Yeah. Today. So <laughs> it, the cool thing is like if you put wallpaper right and then you click it right, you actually download as wallpaper a PNG. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it follows the name that you set. So it's kind of like cool. Yeah. It's like it becomes the file name. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It becomes wallpaper a PNG. Whatever you put there as the value for of the attribute, you just follow it. So kind of. It's kind of kind of weird, uh. Let's try try put the value and then hey, somehow it works like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's somehow not documented. I think anyway, <laughs> because most people just put the attribute like download attribute, no value, and yeah, you download some with some weird file names. Yeah, what what file name? Uh? Anyway, you can yeah, because you can try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's more consistent that way. Uh. Actually, I have used download attribute like yeah. a year ago as well. Okay. Yeah, but it's not commonly known. 
Yeah. 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 I've used it before. <laughs> yeah. It's really useful when you have server rendered pages and you want to name them differently. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like the old way is like sending yeah. a different HTTP header. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, what, yeah. what is but it? But you don't need to. Like, Octet stream, stream or whatever, stream. right? The old way is to send the Octet stream header thing to force download the thing. Now it's like just a attribute. Mind you, I support IE9. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then I also somehow managed to calculate the file size of the image. <laughs> Actually, how, how did I calculate the file size? Like math dot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, math dot what? Oh, yeah, math dot wrong. Based on the length times 3 divided by 4 divided by 1000 KB. Yeah. It's not very accurate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then different browser will generate different file sizes. Which is weird. Different encoders, I guess. Different, yeah. <laughs> and then it's what is this? Disconnect all. Disconnect all. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the stuff? Disconnect. Turn off. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone yeah. have any questions for questions? Questions. Questions. Oh, now it works. Uh, hey, now it works. Yeah, huh? This is how it should work. Uh, probably the inspector thing. Uh, okay, weird. <laughs> weird, weird. Probably the inspector. <laughs> yeah. Your inspector will mess with your script. Mm. Mm. Okay, off. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah even yeah. about the full, oh, yeah, we... full text of it. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. So feel free to do anything you want. Uh, everything is dedicated to the public domain. So just do whatever you want. And treat us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you need some trust? For zero cost, Wait, wait. I think there's also this thing. Uh, this thing that I try, which is a uh, web kit text stroke. So it's like text stroke outline and then the text shadow. Yeah, Kind of cool. You can get the text stroke also with the text shadow. Yep. Text stroke with the, oh, yeah. but you have to position have to like four four sides and yeah. you know, not so no, reliable. You just don't give it an offset for it. Oh. and then you make uh, oh the spread. Uh. Don't blur it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, spread. Uh. Oh, okay. So all the CSS art symbol need to be strict. Right, oh. right. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Quite easy. Getting better. Um, yep. If we've got a couple of minutes, I would like to take the time to show people how to export SVGs better. Yes, please. Oh, okay. So there's, a, there's a neat little trick there, the workspacing. 